Jeff Davis is a visionary in the school system. He's currently the principal at Coronado High School and has been one of the primary people involved in the program of Heroes in Training along with Dr. Margaret Wright, the head of the journalism department. Mrs. Peru is one of the English teachers and then also uh, one of the other people that has been involved is uh, Chris McClung who's in charge of multimedia at the high school. They've all worked together to inspire the kids and take the work that they've produced and put it in a format that we'd be able to use. And so we wanted to recognize all these people from Coronado High School and present these certificates to uh, Jeff. We'd like to present this certificate of appreciation for the Heroes in Training program to yourself. Thank you. We'd like to give you one for uh, Dr. Wright, who could not be here today. And then one for Chris McClung, who also could not be here today, who's at a uh, seminar. Uh, learning more about how to be a better teacher and we'd like to present to you a hero's picture of yourself and uh, one of Margaret Wright also. Terrific. And uh, one of Chris McClung and we just happen to have on hand uh, a couple of hero cards for each of you. We have one of yourself. Great. Give that to you. We have one of uh, Dr. Wright. Good. And we have some for Chris McClung. Terrific. And uh, again, I just wanted to thank you for allowing us to do this program in the high school. It's not many high schools, I think, that would be as open to new ideas. You've just recently come in as the high school principal, haven't you? Yes, this past year. This past year, and I know that you've done a tremendous number of projects that have really benefited the high school kids in the community also. Perhaps you could tell me about them. Well, we've taken a, a real hard look at what we're doing at school and what we're all about. And a good part of last year, we focused on looking at our vision of what we do and what we want to do and what we think we should be doing. And we've re de redefined our mission and our goals. Basically, we, we've uh, looking at two different things that we're doing now. One, which I think is pretty traditional and I think everybody will have no trouble in agreeing with, and that is that we want to provide a very solid classical education, reading, writing, arithmetic, the three R's. But also, we want to go steps beyond. We want to prepare our students for the challenges that await them for the 21st century. We want to go beyond the traditional, um, just the three R's. And also, we want to focus on the student that isn't necessarily as motivated as some of our college-bound kids. Not everybody is prepared to go straight into the university. And many of our students um, are looking for um, alternatives to the, uh, to the college-bound route. So what we've done is we've developed programs, new programs this year at the high school that are more student-centered and that are looking at developing certain processes. And these processes um, have to do with making sure that our students are critical thinkers, they can problem solve, they have access to, to technology and they know how to use it, and that they can work collaboratively in group as well as have good communication skills. So we feel if our students understand those skills, have that process, when they leave Coronado High School, they can be successful at anything that they choose to be. Dr. Wright was a real inspiration and a real motivating force behind the Heroes in Training program and getting the high school students involved along with uh, Diane Peruse and uh, Chris McClung. Perhaps mm -hmm. you could share a little bit about each of those people and um, your consideration of them as uh, leaders of young people. Well, you just mentioned three of the most fantastic teachers. It's just been a real pleasure to work with them. Specifically, I've worked directly this year with Chris McClung and Dr. Margaret Wright and they've been the co-chairs of the restructuring committee. And they have really been a, a strong catalyst towards reform and towards a, a vision towards the future. They work absolutely countless hours. They are there when you get there at six in the morning and they are there when you leave there at six at night. Truly dedicated professionals. Along with Diane Peruse, who also is just a tremendous asset to the uh, school staff. And we're just so pleased that we have her there. She works a great deal with our seniors and works a lot um, on special assignments in terms of uh, essay contests and speech contests and helps prepare our students for competi competitions throughout uh, the local community in the state. And our students um, continually do very well in those areas. You're also a Rotarian. And uh, I noticed that most of the meetings you have uh, quite a young uh, quite a large group of young people that come with you as uh, Rotarians. Perhaps you could share how Rot Rotary has impacted you and your philosophy within the school system. Well, Rotary is so much like, uh, uh, has so many of the philosophies of that of educators, and that is that we just have a deep concern for our community and our youth and the future of our country. And uh, Rotary is, is wonderful in the sense that 
I have never met a group of individuals so dedicated to really, truly community service. And that's uh, one of the values that we hope to instill in our students. And by working closely with Rotary, uh, especially through our Interact Group, our student organization, mm -hmm. we hope to uh, further our, our goals in this, in this area. You're going to be the uh, first school anywhere in the world that has their own Hall of Heroes. And uh, your picture and those of the teachers and the people that we've honored today will be in it. Uh, do you think that that will be an inspiration to the young people along with the pictures of the young people that have been involved in the HEROES program? Uh, truly an inspiration. Uh, uh, far too often uh, we do not recognize um, some of the people that are truly making some uh, contributions, some great contributions, and some of the people that uh, I've seen here this afternoon. And uh, I've got a school full of them of incredible heroes, great students and great teachers uh, that I'm just so proud to be associated with. And anything that we can do to help recognize them, um, I will wholeheartedly support. And I commend you for your efforts. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming. We really appreciate your help. Thanks a lot. Good. Let me ask a question, Ralph. Okay. Um, um, four. Jeff Davis is a visionary in the educational system in the United States. He has just recently become principal at Coronado High School and has been instrumental in helping to promote the Heroes in Training program and also providing a vehicle within the school system whereupon which we could get the kids involved. And so we're here today to recognize Jeff and present to him a Heroes in Training Certificate of Appreciation along with a 8x10 Heroes picture of himself. Wow. And then also we wanted to make sure that you are a card-carrying hero within the community. So we wanted to give you your own hero's card. And we wanted to ask you a little bit about your philosophy in the school system on why you got involved in such a unique program. Well, I th think the program is absolutely outstanding in terms of being able to offer recognition to um, uh, members of our community and our student body who are doing some just outstanding work at the school and in the community. And anything that we can do to promote these people, many of them are unsung heroes that really make everything come together and everything work, um, the better off we are. So I'm a tremendous supporter of the program. You're sort of an unsung hero yourself uh, and coming into the school system. You've done a number of things like the Pride Project, the Heroes in Training Program. There's other ones that you've done that have dramatically impacted the lives of the children in the community and also their adults and families. Perhaps you could share a little bit of your philosophy and some of the programs that have been so successful. I'd be happy to. One of the things that we have done this past year was take a look at who we are as educators and what our whole goal and our purposes are. And we basically are, have redefined our vision and where we're going. Um, our first part of our vision is fairly traditional in terms of we want to give our kids the best academic um, classical training that we can, reading, writing, and arithmetic. We want to take them to the highest levels that we possibly can. The other part of the equation is a little bit more difficult. You're dealing with how do you motivate kids? How do you get them excited? How do you make school meaningful for them? For, small, uh, for a good portion of our kids, they have that motivation wherever it comes from, intrinsically or from parents or from, from wherever. We're not exactly sure on that, but they have it. But what about that large segment of our student population that really doesn't know what they want to do? I'm not sure if I want to go to college. Why do I need to know this algebra? When am I ever going to use this? So what do we do for those kids? And that helped us to develop our vision about where we want to go with our kids. And we said, what do we want them to know? And we answered that question. We said, we want them to be able to be critical thinkers. We want them to be able to problem solve. We want them to be able to have access to technology and know how to use it. We want them to have good communication skills. And we want them to be able to work collaboratively in a group. We felt if we can give these skills, this gift to our students, that when they graduated, they could then do anything they want, whether it's pursuing uh, a career in, uh, in medicine and going on to the university or whether it's opening up their own business, whatever they want to do, those skills. So that's how we've redefined our vision where we want to go. And in turn, what we've done is we've redeveloped curriculum now, specific curriculum to help us to achieve those specific goals. You're also a Rotarian in each of the meetings. I notice that you bring with you quite a few high school students to Rotary. How has uh, Rotary impacted uh, your philosophy in teaching and just uh, your involvement with young people? Well, R Rotary is just the perfect example of a group of people that are willing to dedicate themselves to their community and really the true meaning of community service. 
th this is one of the values that we want to instill in all of our students. We have an interact group, which is the uh, Rotary student organization at our school. And as many students as, as I can help get involved with Rotary and the goals of Rotary, and in terms of community service and helping out your, um, your fellow man, that's what we want to do. Rotary's been a, a great instrument to be able to do that, and we'll, get as many, we'll have as many students involved with Rotary as we possibly can. In any community, if you can raise up heroes that uh, young people can meet and talk with and take their example, um, you're going to be the first school on the face of the planet to have its own hall of local heroes mm -hmm. and the pictures of the kids that have been involved in the Heroes and Training Program. Do you think that that hall of heroes will inspire young people to try to achieve more than they would without that? I think so. I, I think it's just human nature that we like to be uh, congratulated and rewarded and recognized for things that we do that are outstanding. And there are so many unsung heroes at the school, students as well as staff members. And this program is just one terrific way to help recognize those students and bring to light some of the incredible and exciting things that they're doing. Jeff, I'd like to thank you for coming. You've been a real inspiration to all of us within the community and thank you. really have done wonderful things with the high school to help the young people. Thank you. Appreciate it.